What's up guys, I'm Nico of Camera Crunch and yesterday I posted a new what's in my camera bag video for July 2013 and the biggest question or the biggest comments that I got, the most comments I got were about my Canon 5D Mark II and my L lenses, why they weren't there and why I've replaced uh, those cameras and lenses with the Canon Rebel T3i and um, basically people made the assumption that I replaced the Canon 5D Mark II with a Canon Rebel T3i and though it may seem that way um, that's really you know not how it went down. For those of you guys have been following uh, Cam Crunch for a long time you know that I've been shooting my rangefinders, my film rangefinders exclusively for the past few months so that includes my Voigtlander Bessa R2a and my Leica M42 and before that I was shooting an M4P I was also shooting a Leica M3 and I, I, I was doing that for you know quite a while now almost a year um, I got my first rangefinder the end of last year. I think it was like October or something. So it's it's been almost a year. And even before that, I wasn't really using my DSLRs. That's why I also tried the Fuji XE1 for a bit. Um, you know, my DSLRs weren't getting that much use. And really, that's the bottom line when it came down to me selling my Canon 5D Mark II. It wasn't doing anything, and I saw that the prices were slowly going down. So I decided to sell all my gear, you know. And in fact, if I decided to buy a new 5D Mark II today, not a new one, but a used one in the same condition, I'd probably uh, be able to pick one up for, you know, four to 500 less than I actually sold mine. So I would have saved money in the process, made some money in the process. Um, so, you know, that's where the decision came in. The camera and the lenses weren't getting that much use. So I decided to sell them and, you know, stick to the cameras that, I, I wanted to use or you know maybe try some cameras that I was you know that I thought I would use more that's also again why I tried the Fuji XE1 you know that didn't uh, work out too much but you know I got some cameras that I did decide to keep and that I'm I'm completely happy with so now why do I have the Canon T3i and I actually have another entry-level camera which I'm shooting this video with and the reason why I have these cameras as well you know I have a 50 I have the um, other camera with the kit lens. I also bought the uh, 568EX speed light from Yongnuo. And the reason why I kept all my manual speed lights and my triggers and all that stuff is to do cam crunch videos, to do YouTube videos, to be able to, you know, share information with you guys. And, you know, that's really it. If I didn't have cam crunch, if, you know, I didn't have this YouTube channel, if I didn't have the Facebook page or the website, I probably wouldn't have this camera or that camera or any of my other DSLR equipment right now. I'd just, you know, be happy shooting with my film range finders and all that. Um, but the truth is, you know, after having done, you know, camp runs for a while, I decided that I wanted to keep this going. And that's why I, you know, I actually invested some money that I didn't have to spend for myself. You know, I, I bought two cameras. I bought some lenses. I bought speed lights. Uh, and all that stuff to do tutorials, you know, for, for Cam Crunch because I, I, you know, I like sharing information and also, you know, it gives me room to experiment whenever, you know, my film range finders aren't providing me what I need. But the biggest reason why I have these cameras is to do um, Cam Crunch videos. So while it may seem like I replaced the Canon 5D with these cameras, you know, they happened separately. They, they weren't, you know, within the same decision. I sold the Canon 5D months ago and I just purchased these cameras recently you know to do these videos again so I hope that clears things up you know um, and to add to that you know my 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 rangefind equipment you know wasn't cheap you know these small cameras may look like they're not as expensive as your, your pro level DSLRs but some of these lenses you know get kind of costly and to add to that even more I'm graduating soon and you know any money that can be saved I'd rather save it than I'll hold on to expensive gear that I'm not using. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to make this video to clear things up because a lot of you, you know, not everyone, but there were some comments where people were actually very offended that I sold my Canon 5D Mark II and, you know, why, why, um, and offended that I, you know, replaced the Canon 5D Mark II with these cameras. Um, and I really don't know why, why that happens. You know, people shouldn't be offended when other people sell gear. Uh, people shouldn't be offended by other people's choices, especially when it comes to something, you know, like this, you know, about equipment and, and so on and so forth. So I hope this video clears things up. And, you know, if you have any more questions, sorry about that. If you have any more questions, you can um, leave your, 
your questions in the comment box down below and I'll be happy to answer and clarify anything if you know something in this video wasn't clear um, you know just want to be open and just let you guys know what's up because you know some of you seem confused about my decisions oh, so I thought I'd you know maybe make the short video so yeah hope this clears things up and I think that's it so if this video cleared things up please like the video favorite the video share the video uh, subscribe if you haven't yet you know visit the Facebook page the website I'm starting to post again Twitter I kind of use that and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video Peace.